Hi, welcome to the help video for the Biopharma Finder 1.0 software. Here I'm going to show you how to load a protein sequence into the software. On the home page of the software, you want to browse to the Protein Sequence Manager. When you're on the Protein Sequence Manager, a new page will open, and you can see on the top, the top of the software, the tab clearly says Protein Sequence Manager. To navigate back to the home page, just simply click on the home page tab. When we go back into the Protein Sequence Manager, if you have proteins uploaded into the software, they will appear here. To add a new protein sequence, click on the New button. Protein sequences can be brought into the software using two different methods. The first method I'm going to show you is how you import a FASTA file. Click on the Import Protein Sequence button. Here you'll see an example FASTA file. Open the FASTA file. And under the Protein Sequence map, you'll see the light chain and the heavy chain proteins will appear. In that FASTA file that I uploaded, there were two proteins, the light chain and the heavy chain, and they appear here. The software gives you the mono monoisotopic mass and the average mass for the total proteins that are added together in the sequence map and it also shows you the mass for each individual chain. So in this example our number one is our light chain and you can see the mass here for the light chain and if you change the box to number two now you'll see the molecular weight of the heavy chain. So when you add these two together, you get the intact molecular mass of the total protein in this example. Now I also said that there's another way you can bring in a protein sequence, and you can do that using our manual input protein sequence. So over here, what you can do is you can type amino acids into the box provided. You could also copy and paste from um, a notepad or from Word or from another uh, software and paste the sequence in here. You can then name this and you simply apply and the next protein is added. So now we have three chains and you can see here where it was added in and now we'll also be able to have the molecular weight for the three chains and the protein uh, mass should update accordingly as well. After you've imported your protein sequence, you can move on to assigning modifications or disulfide bonds or adding custom modifications. Please see the other help videos on how to do this. Thank you.